This is my new Random Seed Glitches personal best of 18 minutes and 46 seconds. You can see I'm using the right instance, I'm multi-instancing, which is kind of cool, just two instances. Doing like an Infume setup, I might talk about that a bit later on in the run. It's actually kind of a weird run. I think my last one was fairly lim li linear. My last uh, RSGPB was not that long ago. I forgot, got my first sub 20 only a few days ago. I think it was like Monday maybe. I can probably check. Well, this is a nice 40 second improvement. You see, I spawn this, I'm about to reset, and I'm like, hell, why not? I'm going to play this peer drop. It's probably one of the coolest um, overworlds I've played. Yeah, my PB was about four days ago, around this time of day. So, yeah. Monday, I think. Wait, today's Friday. No, today's Thursday. Sunday? Oh, yeah, of course it was Sunday. So I'm going to jump down here to negate the full damage. So I've got this 3 iron, and I'm only playing this because I see ocean, so I'm like, oh, well, I can just do ocean strats. 3 iron gives me a default pick off the bat. I'm failed the MLG. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I think it's a bit laggy, because multi-instance lags a bit. At this point, remember, I'm still actually playing on one instance, which is kind of funny. Sorry, one half of the screen. Oh, making it full-size screen. I'll talk about more since later because there's a bit of pausing because I have to... The phone rings, making grand muscle calls. So I see these guys behind me, so I'm just like, I'll do my stuff on this island. It takes a while to get to me by then. Hopefully I should help my stuff and be on my way to shipwreck. Because I saw a shipwreck, I think. Uh, oh, there's so much going on. Yeah, I definitely saw a shipwreck. Uh, I, I didn't point it out because I wasn't thinking about it. I was thinking about... My last PB was, wait, no, it was four days ago. Yeah, yeah, Sunday. It wasn't three days ago. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Crafting's a bit messy here. Don't know why. But I do really like this overworld because it's just kind of funny. And grab more than enough logs. And I'm going to, yeah, get my off hand food. Yeah, I saw the shipwreck. It's like the full ship, but not the full ship. Like the half ship. But like, ah, there's no point me explaining. <laughs> You'll see when I get to you, yeah, this type of shit. No, if you can see it, like, just below me now. It's a bit unclear, because I'm recording low quality, because my computer can't really handle multi-instance, but if I want to get, like, faster times, I've got to kind of force it. So, get the 11-9, so I was perfectly fine. And even if I hadn't already gotten the axe, I could have crafted one anyway, but didn't need to. So, I'm just going to craft myself a bucket. Get my tools. Uh, I look in this chest and I see, okay, I've got some armor. Not really important for anything, but I guess it's nice having armor. And I get four bread. So not too bad. Should last me to the Bastion when hopefully I can start getting I, uh, gold carrots. And here I'm just kind of hoping that I'll get flint. And I get the flint. Not too bad. I think maybe slightly below average rates, but not terrible. So also I've got two timers. Uh, the, this time is the other instance, so the time in the top right is the one that you're going to be looking at. Because basically what I'm doing with this multi-instance thing, I'll say it now because it's quite a bit boasting while I'm looking. I think I get this stuff and it like, immediately abandons me. So, I've got basically two instances, kind of like an infume setup, recording an OBS with a display catcher, and then once I get run one, I just switch over to that. And the way I've got two live splits is they're both routed to uh, different save directories. So right one, top right one's running routed to this instance, the other one's routed to the main instance. This is the instance that's the, for this one's actually kinda of like I call it like the side instance, because it's not doesn't run out of the .minecraft folder, it runs out of the other instance folder, so yeah, I guess. And I see all this kelp over here, so I'm like, well, there's my enter. 336 in game time. Now, since it's not going to be great, again, like, my whole PB enter was awful. Here, I'm kind of, like, playing sub-4, but if it's, like, sub-5, I'll still technically play it. If you get what I mean? I'm not going to, like, force a sub-5, but if it's, like, sub-4, and then it gets a bit slow, then that's fine. Like this, where it's, like, I have to wait for a bit. But I'm not going to play, say, a village dig down on the off chance that it could be a sub-5, because other than that, don't get too good on the lava here. Trolls me a little. This enter's actually kind of bad. I kind of actually get annoyed when I enter this nether, I think. I can't even find more lava, so I have to just bite the bullet. <laughs> Should probably have not spent so long here. I just get annoyed when I just get in the center and just see the fast. Well, not really fastian, I guess it's kind of a fastian. It could have been a really fast blind, but the terrain was bad, and oh my god, I missed it. Ah, oh, this, this is not a good overall, just like my old PB. <laughs> 
If I could have one that's just like a three minute enter, it doesn't even have to be a golden ether. Just three minutes. Oh, okay. It's blind. Yeah, it's like forty minute blind. It's just good blind distance. And then I uh, yeah. It's a weird run. No, shouldn't really be B. And you see, what bang! Instantly, my E goes from like five to thirty five. I'm like this bastion here, and then I'm going to tap my Higgins. So I just decide to quickly run. I see a fortress there, and I'm like, holy! This run's kind of cracked. I don't do exact E ray, but I know it's in this direction because I do the kind of E ray, and it's like this way seventy, or other ways like thirty, forty. So. Obviously, the bastion's roughly this way. Since I'm being chased by piglins, I'll put off the e actually ray for a minute. This nether is really nice, to be fair. I, think, well, I don't quite know why it's so slow. I know the fortress is a bit iffy. I'm gonna e ray. I'm like, where the hell is it? It's back there. I'm like, what? Okay, that's a bit weird. It's obviously close. It's 5.30. I think it's kind of, it's mainly just a slow bastion, I guess. It's not great enter, not great bastion, because bastion is worse bastion type, it's bridge. And then I guess the fortress was really weird. But yeah, that's basically the reason. So here I just literally see my bridge chalice. Quite get where six so where's such a late blind. But Cause I had a run, I think my 2052 BB was like a 10 minute blind of like a 430 enter straight on the bridge bastion. It's only like a minute behind that, so I don't quite get what this is. So slow. It's obviously the fortress. Oh well. The skeleton's trying to annoy me, I'm trying to block it off, but then it just comes around, so I'll just kill it. That's fine by me. And then... New craft the whole thing, because I'm an idiot. Graph myself a helmet. I shift it, but then I didn't realize my crafting table gone to that slot, so it's fine. Instead of dealing with this whole gun, because I don't have a love bucket, I'm just like, I'll just go up here. Works fine. I'm actually experienced with this, I somehow managed to fucking mess this up and get lost. Oh well. I think it's just like through this rule, because I never do this. I'm like, what? I'm confused. Dig a few blocks up and I'm not the place I want to be, but it's fine, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna dig up here, see it's an opening, I'm like up here, so I'm above the dip route slot. And I think oh I have to do dip routes. It doesn't look that promising. And like eh, right through here, maybe it's triple. <laughs> I was I was mine one like eh, it's not, and I accidentally mine the second and I see oh well it's triple. It's kinda of funny. So I'm gonna place, can't place my third one because he's walking onto it, so I'm just gonna chuck the gold in. Then place a third. And. Just chucking a shit ton of gold. And nobody's fallen. Quite like five pigs. But I do get more. I should have difficulty toggles. Don't know why didn't I? Literally always difficult to toggle in every bastion. Break this, and then they fall down, I think. Yeah. Obviously, just a bit late to the party. I've got plenty of pigs. There's literally nothing to worry about. And gonna go up here, try and hope this glass doesn't shoot at me. Go grab some crying. Then funny, I didn't get any obsidian off these chests. I never check check the chests on the other side of the best and just end up rolling with ten. So I'm just gonna like clear up my inventory a bit. Get rid of all the stuff I don't need. Grab a crossbow. So I do end up doing Half bow in this, which is nice. Love a bit of half bow. At first, I didn't do it because I was like really rubbish at it. Don't mind if there's a hookland there. Don't kill it, probably should have. So I forget I've got the sweet berries. I don't know why I've got rotten flesh in my offhand to eat. Now, basically, decide, well, I'll just eat golden carrots. Don't know what I'm doing here, but. What am I doing? So I chuck half in them, like. Let's get my inventory, I've got six obby. Messed that one was so bad, I can't even put armor on. And this is when I think I have to pick up the phone. And I take move the phone, take it somewhere else, stupid phone. But yeah. I guess I'll say I might rerun this. I don't probably not, because I kinda want to like grind and get this PV lower. Cause I feel like I so often get on runs on PV pace. 
And that's sub-19 PB, I want to drop it really much lower. And I do sub-15, and I think now that's kind of feasibly in reach. Particularly after last one, I was like, right, I need to, to be able to get faster. I need to multi-instance. That's just the way to go. And holy shit, multi-instancing is really good. Like, really, really good. Like, this, like there are runners that, like, don't multi-instance, but <laughs> it's just so broken, like... I'm literally just resetting way fast, getting way more nerf power. I think I should leave here, but I don't. Why am I not leaving? I think I'm trying to just sort my inventory. Oh, I have to move the phone. Breath. Kind of cringe. So yeah, multi-instancing. I want to learn better calculated, because right now I'm only doing all calculated. I want to learn uh, axes. I think also... Part treasure pie rail. I'm not too sure. Not sure if it does generate more less power or not. Because so many times you're just going to ride for it and it won't work. It's quite rare that you do get a buried treasure pie ray, So I'm not sure if I'll learn that. And also zero cycle. I might not learn that until my PB gets a bit faster. But he doesn't love a bit of zero cycle. Or zero cycle. Should definitely be out here. Yeah, I think I'm waiting. I was like, okay, I'll wait for one more trade. The yeah, last trade happens to be the last trade as well. <laughs> Didn't mean to like, wait for them all to finish. So these golden carrots should be enough food for the rest of the run. It's kind of nice so I can like now do a run like 10 total food. So I had four bread and I think these gold. I think I only ate like five of these golden carrots. So I'm going to go over here before seeing where to pearl. Whereas my bastion is like 10 minutes. So that's a bad bastion. I was I don't, I don't quite get why I lost all the time there, but I go past this portal and like this portal's close to the nether forge, so I'm thinking I can go and I'm ge I genuinely like I'll probably do educated here. Actually, I don't know why it didn't come into my brain because I was doing a shit time pearl hangs today, but it's like I didn't think about pearl hanging. I really should have done. That would have definitely been a good idea if I wanted to educate it, but I don't see any angle because I'm too far out and then basically I could blind cords. And that decision pays off, I'll say, because the blind, I mean, it's not crazy. It's probably like 400, 500 blocks. That's, still, that's really good, actually. I guess without pearls, it wouldn't be too great, but given our pearls, I was like throwing pearls in, like three seconds later. So. And I'm looking around, like, I don't see any blaze spawner. See these two wither skulls, and just one, I'm just going to put out two, but I'm not going to bother killing them, I'm really just looking for spawners. The spawner, I don't know where the other spawn is, but. The one I end up at is a really weird one. So, I'm not sure there might be one down there. Maybe, ah, uh, maybe there's one at the end of that. I don't really... There must be something down there. Because, so I'm like running here, I'm like, where the fuck is the spawner? And I see it's down there, and I'm like, what the hell? Wood's going running at me both sides, so I just throw my pal there. Why not, do I never kill that blaze? I never kill that blaze. And this is a terrible spawner position. But I kind of get lucky here, if I'm going to be honest. Jump my, my difficulty and easy, because like, these guys really hate me. Now, so my idea is I'll just basically blaze bed, and I can open up the whole thing in front of it, because that's just clever. And I'm just going to clear out my inventory. I hear sounds, blaze underneath. I didn't... I didn't even know till just now that it was this, because I've not actually rerun this, I'm literally just commentating this. This is literally, like, just after it happened. That's 6.47, this is 7.15, so yeah. Uh, literally, in real time, I started commentating this, like, like, 15 minutes. I break the crafting table for no reason, because I'm an idiot. Blithering idiot. Oh my god, what are you doing? Right, I'll kill this blaze. That's my, my drop rates are sick. So I'm like, okay, craft beds. I think my drop rates and my spawn rates are sick. It's like another one spawns, like, please, stop spawning for five seconds. Like, finally, blaze bed, maybe. Because hopefully it'll clear out all this stuff. I'm already on, like, four rods, I think, so kind of funny, but I'm going to do it anyway. Come here. I'm going back here. And then, like, take damage. One guy spawns, no blaze bend, and like way more spawn. I clear out such a massive area, it's kind of funny. I'm about to die here, I think. Drink it quickly enough. I do not want any of these touching me. I'm just gonna eat my carrots. Stay healthy, kids. Nice, 
And also whether it was necessary to play his bed, but it's Rima, because I have six beds. And I think I five bed the dragon. Yeah, I five bed the dragon. So I'm like, I'm on six rods here. Kill this guy, it falls down. So I'm like, I guess I'll kill this guy, and if it doesn't drop, I'm just out. Drops, check my coordinates, I'm like, 150, 180, perfect chords. I think about building it here, but I've had experiences with like being knocked off by lasers. So I'm just like, I'll just jump over to here. Jump, place my block. And bang, we are portal building at just under 15 minutes. Remember, top right timer, 13.52 in game time. So it's literally a 14 minute blind. Not bad. Obviously, I've had better. Best blinds, 10 minutes. And this could have calculated. Not make make too much difference, but... You know what I mean? Just going to instantly sleep because I don't want any mobs annoying me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prop my eyes and then throw a couple because I just want to, like, uh, don't want to get annoyed by mobs. And then I'll throw a couple and then do my distance estimating. It's a fairly decent strategy, I think. I don't know. So I throw a second here. I don't think I throw three. I might throw three. Yeah, this sounds horrible. The occasion's like, screw it, I'll just throw a third. Throw a bit to the side. Don't really need to, given I'm going to do a distance estimate. And grab my gravel. No, grab the crying obby. No, the side crying obby is not the best block, in case I want to craft anchors or something. So I'm like, you see this angle is 118. Might be slightly off. I actually saw it at the time. Laughable there, which is kind of funny. <coughs> Sorry. And 110, so I'm like, holy. That's 8 degree angle change, 120 blocks, so... Yeah, this blind is probably like 300 blocks, so... Really good blind. Hit the blind, hit the seed. Don't... I I can't find my eye because I'm an idiot. You can see it's right there. Although... It's still a kind of funny run, how it's like... You get the dodgy blaze spawner. You get the fucking pillager outpost with 3 eye and used to craft eye and that. Like, if I hadn't done that, like, it's just... Like, this one, if I hadn't gone the three iron though, I probably wouldn't have even played this. Like, this is so dumb. And most of the time, I don't even play per drought pace when I see them. I just played this one because I felt like it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, I just really thought about that. Like, half the time, I just reset the seat. So I'm like, okay, it's the next chunk. Don't know why I throw one here, but. So I'm like, okay. Catch this. I just throw another one because I'm like, might as well be sure, like, sometimes when you're basically certain it's one chunk and it's not. I, I don't intend to go 4-4, four, four. I always try and go 5-5, five, five. for some reason I go 4-4 four, four on this. Oh well. <laughs> not a problem. It's just usually it takes extra full damage. Yeah, I've had, like, on the food situation, 4 bread, 6 golden carrots, and I might eat one more. So, make sure I get my fire resistance, turn on my chunk mortars, I go down middle, as you should do. See the staircase, you should probably go down there first, probably just like 5-10 seconds. Go in here, nothing in here, go out of here, go on this staircase, and the portal room is just here, so I'm like, yo, that's sick, don't wire check that chest, literally no need to, zero eye, so, good thing I got six, so I don't think any of mine broke, I just think two are just abandoned ones, I actually might have had one break, so, maybe, maybe that's a good thing, and I'm going to do a bit of half bow, 1650 end enter, so this end split is... It's up to a one forty-five end split. Again, courtesy of the half bow. Bit nervous, and also I've not been practicing this because usually I used to practice it before I started. But since I've done multi instant, I've not really been practicing. So I just kind of because the other reason I practice is so that it's not like so like in the first world where I've got two instances and no point. So I've been played. I've actually used this is in PvP, in which I think it's one point fifteen. I think one point fifteen crossbow is a bit different. So I'm not actually the best in this half bow, but I get it in the end. Get that one. Get my first try. Get actually spammed. Caused me to just miss this one. And I think I think that's enough. Okay, I hit this one as well. So I've got like five or six crystals. I think that's what I like too. I don't like to take out all eight or go for the ninth. Because I just don't see the point. Like personally, uh, what, how do I say it? It's like, uh, it's just, uh, the thing is, like, I know, like, each crystal you destroy for, like, exponentially increases the chance for it to perch, 
but remember if it's doing like 10 different times it tries if I don't know quite how it works but this is lots of times it tries to perch then it's confusing but there's still a massive difference doing like three crystals. So first bed I do early, second bed does ton damage, third bed does ton damage, fourth time is blocking the thing, fourth bed then I do in five. For my two nails four plus one, which probably means that time I've not actually completed run with multi instance, so <coughs> that's why it's obstructing it. Not a problem with verification, it's just kind of annoying for me. I guess I'm the only one harmed by that. And there it is, 18 minutes, 46 seconds, just over 20 minutes RTA. It's kind of funny, my last sub-20 was sub-20 RTA, this one isn't, so, Psst. oh well. It's kind of nice, going to show my things, it's all in fucking Shakespeare in English, because it's my other instance. And yeah, that's all my verification stuff, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did, and yeah, that's about it. I'm going to be getting world record soon, okay, I might not. But I do think I can, like, get a lot faster. Maybe even sub-15. Not too s in the future. So I'm going to learn new strats. And hopefully, we'll get some good times. Hope you enjoyed. And I think I might just show off my multi instant setup. Don't know why. Don't know if this means anything, but... I guess. And then stop resetting quick.